it's me delicious delights and I'm back with more perfume reviews perfume reviews and today I want to talk about something that I recently acquired into my collection but I've been testing for about mm, I don't know since last year around this time actually so the fragrance is called ivory root here's the bottle uh, this comes in 50 mils I actually hate the way this bottle looks, <laughs> contrary to popular belief. I think it looks really tacky. I don't like, I don't know the function or aesthetic, I don't get it, of this pointy cap. Also, um, the cap doesn't really stay on very well. Like, I would be afraid to pick it up from the cap alone. I mean, I can do it now, but... You can see that it just it doesn't really, it snaps into place, but it just doesn't feel secure to me. It says Zerzhov here. It's heavy cap though. Actually, the whole bottle is quite heavy. But the important thing is the juice, of course, and the juice is freaking amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to be honest, I didn't do much research on, on this fragrance. I just know that there's a story behind it. Um, join the club, meaning... Um, if you buy this fragrance, you're part of the Zerzhov Club, so I don't know. But this one refers to Adventure and Traveling Club, whatever that means. <laughs> I only care about the, the way it smells. Now, this was released in 2012. It doesn't say who the perfumer is here, but I don't know. Those, those details to me mostly aren't that important. What I really care about, as, and I said it a million times already, is the smell. So the notes according to Fragrantica, there's not that many of them. Sandalwood, spicy notes, allspice, patchouli, and basil. And if I'm going to be honest, I don't think that's a complete list of, of notes because I definitely get a smoky element in there. I definitely get vanilla or something sweet. I'm wearing it right now. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so this one is extremely, extremely sexy. It is the most sexiest fragrance I've ever, ever smelled. Yes, I said that. <laughs> ever smelled. Ever, ever. And I don't think this leans masculine or feminine. I think it's pretty much unisex. What makes it sexy? I'll, I'll tell you that and then I'll tell you what I think it smells like which I haven't even really prepared. <laughs> this is kind of like on the fly. What makes this sexy is that there seems to be an over overcast of smoke all throughout this entire fragrance. From the moment you spray it on, you get this really sexy, airy, spicy, dark, spicy cloud just following you around. It reminds me of as if I were to be wearing a cape. And I know that's kind of weird, but when I think of a woman or a man wearing a cape, I think of them being very mysterious, kind of like Phantom of the Opera, like woman style. It just It's very mysterious and sexy and dark and intriguing and interesting and just very, like, it has the ele element of the unknown. And that's what this fragrance does to me. I feel like I'm wearing this cape of smoke that's following me around, that will turn heads, that will grab attention, that is extremely sexy. Like that is, <laughs> I just can't tell you how sexy I think this smells. <laughs> so what does it smell like? Um, yeah, uh, I get this very nice creamy, 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 creamy vanilla sandalwood. Pepper, Th throw some pepper on top of that to make it a little bit spicy and then you have that dark sheath that dark cape covering it all in, in just a it just kind of like packages everything <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing I don't get patchouli I don't get basil I do get the sandalwood but the most creamiest best quality sandalwood and again on top of that you have that cape of smoke and I also think there's some incense in here, even though it doesn't say that, but there's some smoke and incense in there. That's that that's that veil that's covering me when I wear this. And that's what makes this fragrance 
sexier than all the other fragrances I've ever ever tried <laughs> and I just can't tell you how much I love this fragrance um, you know what I can also compare it to something else but it's not gonna be exactly the same comparison but then you'll have an idea it does remind me a lot of Eau de Well but you know Eau de Well to me has a little bit of a sharpness in it which is also very nice by the way a sharp spice in it I really like that but in this one imagine that spice take it away take out that sharpness in Eau de Well and add some creamy elements to it and I don't know what specifically but just add that element of that creamy silky satiny feel into Eau de Well and then you would get an idea of what ivory root would smell like. No doubt in my mind that if you like Eau de Well, then you'd probably like this. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, the best way for you to find out is to try it for yourself. If you can get a sample of it, please do because it's my favorite of the Zerjaf line. I wear it when I want to feel sexy and I gotta be honest, I never feel sexy. I'm too much of a dork to be sexy, but when I wear this... <clears throat> sorry. When I wear this, I wear it mostly for myself at home, but I also wear that out, but it has to be a, a special occasion, like a date or something. But oh my gosh, I feel like a woman of mystery in this. <laughs> I wear this for my inner self, if that makes sense. And that makes my inner self feel like a diva. And that's what I am. <laughs> at least I think so. So that's my review of Ivory Root. Uh, if you've tried it, please let me know what you guys think of it. How does it work on your skin? Do you guys also get that veil of sexiness in it? Do you feel that or is am I just going crazy? I don't know. Just let me know, guys. I really want to know your input on this. If you like vanilla, sandalwood, spice, and just the ele element of being very mysterious. If you like that, I think it's definitely something to try. And uh, that's my review to t for today. Thanks for tuning in, of course. Make sure to sub, hit the like button if you want to, and I'll be back, of course, with more videos. Thanks for tuning in. See you later. Bye.